I'm here with Ken from Fleet Biodiesel, and he's going to tell us about a really cool test kit he has for checking the quality of biodiesel. So here we are. The good thing about biodiesel is uh, it's an excellent alternative fuel. It has low emissions. It's biodegradable. It's non-toxic. Just a great fuel all around. Um, a lot of the large users, like municipal fleets and commercial fleets and the military, store fuel for a time. And because it's biodegradable, the quality can be an issue. So you have to keep an eye on it to make sure it's still good. And so what we want is for people to use a lot of this fuel. So we've given them a way to check the quality of that fuel quickly and easily, kind of like a pool test kit. There are different quality indicators for biodiesel fuel. Um, water is one of them, so we have a test for water. Uh, we've got a test for glycerin contamination, the, the percentage of biodiesel, and something called the acid number, which is uh, when biodiesel degrades, the acid number comes up. It can cause some problems in the engine. So I'll give you a demonstration on how this kit works. They're made to be very easy, one-step tests that change color uh, if and when there's a quality problem. So this one just arrives like this. Somebody from the fleet yard can go out and take a sample of their uh, fuel right out of the tank, either out of the vehicle tank, but most commonly just straight from the nozzle, so it's out of their storage tank. This fuel, as you can see, is clear and bright. It smells good. It looks good. You'd never know that there was a problem with this fuel. And all the user does is he goes out and he fills up their little test with this and shakes it up. And if the fuel is good, it stays pink like the color of this one, and it basically stays pink like this fuel, uh, this test here. If it's bad, like this fuel, they shake it up and it turns yellow just like that. So that's an indication that the fuel quality has um, exceeded a level. Uh, it should start to be a concern. And um, all of our tests are designed with that in mind to just alert people before the problem gets out of hand. We want them to keep using the fuel and uh, not hurt their trucks.